Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Welcome back to another video game review. Oh man, I am so excited to talk about this one. One of my most anticipated games of the year is finally out. It came out four days ago, just before my birthday. And it is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a remake of uh, the 19-something game that was released on the Game Boy. It is very similar, so... um. Basically, I never really, even though I'm a big Legend of Zelda fan, I never actually played the original Link's Awakening. i seen clips of it and like top 10s and stuff of the best Zelda games of all time, but I never actually fully got into the game. Um, I never downloaded it for Virtual Console, but when I heard they were remaking it for the Switch, I thought that was perfect because, you know, I never played the original game, so, you know, remaking it for the Switch, it seemed like a pretty big deal to me. Now, of course, this game is basically about, of course, Link awakens after uh, he gets shipwrecked. He lands on this island with this girl named Marin, and, uh, of course, he has to get out of the island. He has to go to this big egg. He has to find uh, eight different instruments so he can awaken this egg so he can get off the island. So he can basically, I don't know, it's, I don't know, why, why couldn't he just leave the island? It just begs the question to me, but, you know, I never really played the original Link's Awakening, so, this is a, now, unlike, you know, Wind Waker HD, or Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask for the 3DS, this is a straight-up remake, it's not a port, it's not, uh, a remaster, it is a new game, just like the two Resident Evil remake games, which were amazing, by the way, especially the second game, which is one of my favorite games of the year, so, it's been, it's being... So far, it's been a pretty good year for video game remakes. This game did not disappoint. I loved this game so much. This is honestly the most stylish Zelda game outside of the Wind Waker. It's also one of the cutest looking ones, too. I mean, Link's design is absolutely adorable. Almost as adorable as Toon Link. This is honestly... You know, when it comes to... When it comes to The Legend of Zelda... You know, just like The Wind Waker, you know, people criticized the game for the way it looked just before it was released. But, you know, we didn't really have to worry about that with Link's Awakening here because, hey, that game was awesome. So, I had a feeling this game would be awesome too, alright? And it is. So, two years after Breath of the Wild, they went back to, you know, a different Legend of Zelda route, the same traditional Legend of Zelda, you know, the top light the top-down perspective Legend of Zelda it has multiple dungeons no shrines or anything like that but no this is basically if you play this game and if you're very very nostalgic with the original game then uh, you're gonna notice a lot of things in here like one one really cool aspect of this game is that it references so many other Nintendo games like Kirby and <laughs> even Mario because there are moments in dungeons where you go like underground just to get to another area and it plays just like a mario game there's like goombas there's one that looks like a chain chomp there's uh oh man you you can get a yoshi doll and there's literally a picture of princess peach i'm not kidding there is an actual picture of princess peach in this game that someone was like "Ooh, and this girl is so beautiful and I just freaking spoiled something there. I promise I'm not going to spoil anything else, but you know, if if you play the original, then uh, you probably aren't going to be really spoiled here because I've seen Or, why am I spoiling everything? Oh my god. <laughs> I really shouldn't be spoiling games like this, okay? But, uh... I mean, it's a remake, but, you know, some people might complain that it's too much like the original game, but so, but like I said, I never played the original, so, and I played almost every Zelda game except Link's Awakening because I'm not really much of a handheld game person, but, uh, you know, enough about all that. Let me talk about the positives here, and there are so many positives. Like I said, the game looks absolutely gorgeous. It's traditional puzzle solving you can get like uh you can get like these shells so you can get like upgrades and stuff 
kind of like in uh, A Link Between Worlds, and uh, which was more of a sequel than a remake. Um, let's see what else. Okay, uh, characters are back like Dompe, and uh, you know it was really cool to see him. And there's like this also traditional like you can make you can make like your own dungeons. I think that's what you can do from what I heard, and it's like uh, I never actually tried it, but. There's like this mini game in uh, Dompe's uh, with Dompe that you can use to like create so you, your own like dungeon and stuff, which was pretty cool. I might try that aspect uh, one time if I ever get the time to. So yeah, in terms of gripes that I have with the game, I don't really have that much issues. Um, I do feel that the game might be a little bit too short. I mean, for me, it took me like 15 hours to beat the game. Uh, it took me like three days because, you know, you know, it's not one of those Zelda games that hold your hand. In fact, most Zelda games don't really hold your hand. Like, like you have to look at certain texts in order for you to know where to go, just like in older Zelda games. And uh, that's, and uh, yeah, the frame rate does dip down just a little bit. It didn't really bother me that much, but, you know... Same, same thing that happened with Breath of the Wild, and that game was basically a masterpiece. Like, I talk about that game all the time, and I don't think I ever will stop talking about it. But, you know, all in all, th this game was totally worth the price, okay? 60 bucks. You might think that the game is way too short for it to be worth that price. But, you know, it, 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 it doesn't matter how short it is. I mean, yeah, $60 is a bit much for, like, a game that's at least, like, 8 hours long. But, you know, I thought it was just enough. I think I got just enough out of the experience. Oh, and might I mention Marine's song, or Marin's song. Uh, Marin is amazing in this. All right, her relationship with Link is absolutely amazing. That moment when she, when she sing, when we hear her sing for the first time, it is absolutely beautiful. And that's where the game really got me emotionally. In fact, the game can get a bit emotional, especially with the scenes with Marin. So, all in all, I think this game was totally worth it. Um, it definitely was no Breath of the Wild, but for the most part, it was an acceptable remake. It's definitely up there with the other amazing Legend of Zelda games. While it's definitely not the next Stock Arena of Time, it's not the next Majora's Mask. Hell, I think I might even like Skyward Sword a bit more than this. But all in all, I still think this was totally worth it. It's uh, definitely going to be one of my best games of the year so far. So if you're a Zelda fan, a diehard Zelda fan like me, then I really think you should definitely pick this game up. I'm going to give The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening a 4.5 out of 5. So yeah, I wish I could have gotten a higher score. But, you know, all in all, it, it was still an amazing game. I mean, I have given almost every Zelda game like almost all of them a perfect score i mean i gave most of them like four and a half out of five because you know it's really hard to find a bad zelda game and no those cdi games do not count whatsoever but you know i can definitely say uh definitely pick this one up uh so yeah this was a good birthday present really good birthday present uh so yeah um I'm still playing more Borderlands 3, but right now I am playing Dark Souls on the Switch. I might get a little distracted from that, but I promise um, I will review Borderlands 3 when I have the time. And uh, when I get to finishing it, it might be a while though, but uh, I'm really enjoying the game so far. <laughs> wow, I just spoiled what my opinion is so far, but uh, I'll just save that for the review. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.